Okay, good afternoon and welcome to the solar shed. Um, quick screenshot here. You can see uh, the tail end of yesterday and most of today so far on a two kilowatt solar system down in Braintree. Producing at 70% at the moment. 12.39 um, kilowatts yesterday, nine kilowatts so far today. And there's the output so far. This is a very, very good system. No obstructions, no telegraph poles or trees. An average of 5.9 kilowatts a day. Okay, if I quickly flick over to our live one here at the solar shed it looks a bit messy and the reason is first of all when the sun comes up over the river bank there's a bit of shade and then behind the house when it clears the house bang straight on follows a lovely curve and then at the top and that's where we've got a telegraph pole uh well, it's actually not the telegraph pole it's the wires coming from a telegraph pole so even a five strand wire which is no more than an inch and a half thick is causing that amount of shade and loss of output now why are we producing 73 percent and the other one producing 70%. Let me take you outside and show you, because this is where we get very clever. Just here, underneath the solar shed, we have an 800 litre water butt. And that water butt has got a, a, a pipe or a hose pipe inside, with a pump attached coming out to here. Now, I can either take the water and very cleverly spray the allotment or we can take the water up onto the roof and we can spray the solar panels with fresh cold rainwater. Fresh cold rainwater will cool the panels down. When the panels are cool the photons react differently to the silicon and the silicon produces more um, uh, direct current electricity which is what we're after here. So the solar shed isn't just a solar panel um, housing um, pod what it is, is also is also a, a solar enhancer and that's what we do at the solar shed so let's have a quick look inside and see what else we've got there so first of all you've got your water tower you've got your solar security lights you've got your hoses you've got more water there another 350 liters inside there's a wood store there's a recycling area coal store and then this is the area where we make our own fuel so we shred paper and we mix that paper with sawdust and that sawdust all gets compressed and we make our own fuel as well so it's more than just a solar shed years ago you would have had um, an anderson shelter at the bottom of the garden well today's risks are very different this is where the solar shed comes in